This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Monday, August 16th, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Today we're going to bring you news from all four aquatic sports, and let's start with swimming at the European Championships. Three Frenchmen and a German made the biggest headlines on the last two days of competition in Hungary. Camille Lacour made another Aaron Pearsall's world record of 51.94 in the 100 backstroke, but fell short again while leading off France's 400 medley relay on Sunday. Lacour swam a 52.46, a little bit slower than he swam in the actual 100 backstroke final, but it cemented his place at the top of the world rankings in the event with two swims under 53 seconds. Fred Bousquet put himself on the top of the rankings in the 50 freestyle with a 21.36 in the 50 free semis on Saturday. That puts him just four tenths away from Cesar Cielo's world record. Bousquet won the final in 21.49. And the big 200 freestyle matchup between Yannick Agnell and Paul Biederman did take place on the leadoff legs of the 800 free relay on Saturday. Agnell led for 150 meters, but Biederman took control in the end, posting the world's fastest time of 149.47. Agnell held on to set a new French national record of 145.83, the fourth fastest time of the year. Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte are now the second and third fastest in the event in 2010. Laszlo Che put up the second fastest 400 IM of the year with a 4.10.95. He told the media afterward that he relaxed on the freestyle leg after realizing he was going to win easily. Ryan Lochte still leads the world rankings with his 4.09 from Nationals, but Che is well ahead of the third fastest swimmer, Japan's Yuya Horihata. And the British team had a standout performance at Europeans, despite being one of the few teams not resting for the meet along with Ireland. To concentrate on the Commonwealth Games, the Brits won four gold medals in Hungary. Elizabeth Simmons and Gemma Spaforth went 1-2 in the 100 and 200 backstrokes, while Becky Adlington won the 400 free, and the women won the 400 medley relay after Russia was disqualified for an early takeoff. And let's not forget the five medals won by Fran Halsell, including the gold in the 100 freestyle, and Hannah Miley's big-time victory in the 400 IM. If you missed any of our recaps of the European Championships, you can find them all on our world news channel at swimmingworld.com. The International Paralympic Committee's Swimming World Championships began on Saturday, and about a dozen disability world records were set in one day alone. Mallory Wegeman, Swimming World Magazine's reigning female disability swimmer of the year, set two world records in one race. She swam a 504.87 in the foreign freestyle, and also set the world record in the 200 free with a split of 227.41. And we also just learned that she set two more world records in the 50 breasts and the 100 breasts. Natalie Dutoy, who is known for being one of the few athletes to compete in the Paralympic and regular Olympic Games, didn't set any world records on the first day, but won the women's 100 fly with a 108.30. Swimming World TV is partnering with the USA team to bring you videos from the Netherlands. Just go to the IPC link on our, our events page at SwimmingWorld.tv and check out an interview with Wegeman as well as longtime Paralympic star Jessica Long, among many others. The first Youth Olympics also started on Saturday, and after two days, we're seeing some fast times from the pool in Singapore. Chad Leclo of South Africa and Bolarka Kapas of Hungary took the spotlight with times that put them in the top 25 in the world. Leclo won the 200 IM with a 2.0085, the 23rd fastest time, while Kappas moved to 15th in the world with her 200 fly winning time of 2.0872. China is the only country to have won more than one event after two days, taking gold in the men's 400 free, men's 100 back, and the mixed 400 free relay. Caitlin Jones got the USA on the gold medal tally with a win in the women's 200 IM with a 2.1443. We've got recaps from both days in Singapore at SwimmingWorld.com. Troy DeMay and David Bedaya were the two standout stars of the USA Diving National Championships in College Station, Texas. DeMay won his 31st and 32nd career national titles last week with victories in the 3-meter individual and synchro springboard competitions. DeMay teamed with Christian Ibsen to win the synchro title, and the two battled it out on the individual event with DeMay eventually winning by 48 points. Budaya set an American record in winning the men's 10-meter platform final, winning with 605.40 points, surpassing his own record by 50 points by getting 10s on all six of his dives. Budaya won national championship number 13 when he paired with Nick McCrory for the 10-meter synchro title. The FINA Women's Water Polo World Cup begins later today in Christchurch, New Zealand, with eight teams looking for the championship title. Australia, the defending World Cup champions, will face a tough battle with top teams Hungary and the United States. 
And we'll end our coverage today with the FINA Youth Synchro World Championships where Russia continued to show their dominance in the sport, winning all four gold medals. The Ukraine and China settled for two silver medals each. The Russian team was so dominant that after the qualifying rounds of the solo figure preliminaries, the 11 Russian competitors took places 1 through 11. Milena Mateva and Elena Prokova, Prokofeva were dominant in the free routine, scoring 171 points, five points ahead of second place, which in synchro illustrates how good the Russian junior team is. You can go to SwimmingWorld.com and read more about Russia's, Russia's gold medal haul. That'll do it for the news today. We'll see you next time on SwimmingWorld.tv.